Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Artifact Highlight. Now, after I was so rudely interrupted by my cat, and I was originally going to film on my nice sheet, but I guess she has she decided to make it into her bed. But we're not here to watch crazy cat videos, we're here to talk about three different billing repair cards for two different railroads. Now the first two I'm going to be showing are from the Pittsburgh and Lake Erie Railroad. And another nice thing is when I pick them all up, they do not, in, they are not um, easily protected by these sleeves. So I'm able to just use my own hands and I don't have to put on those gloves. that will make my hands really, really wrinkly. Uh, just on a very brief backstory, the Pittsburgh and Lake Erie Railroad ran from Youngstown, Ohio down to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, also having two extension lines, one that would go out through into Brownsville, Pennsylvania, the other going out and ending in Connorsville, Pennsylvania. If you are familiar with Connorsville, you might see that large metal bridge going across the Yakagani River. That um, use would have been for the Pittsburgh and Lake Erie Railroad. That's actually where the Connorsville line would have ended, and the Western Maryland Railroad for its Connorsville subdivision would have began. But the Western Maryland is for, uh, another video, another time. Nevertheless, uh, this here is for a um, repair that was done to car 1140 on October 29th, 1912 at the McKees Rock Shops, one of the Pittsburgh and Lake Erie Railroad's main shops. Uh, unlike the other two I have, these actually have stamps for the um, shop's name and for the inspector, J.H. Scheimer. Uh, and also here, that actually shows the hours that I was worked on. So it was worked on for 10 hours. And unfortunately, I can read, I can read cursive, but then there is scribble cursive, which from 1912 is a pain for me to read. So I'm just going to give you guys a brief overview. This shows all the different repairs made on car 1140. It also shows, um, I'm not quite sure what the WROT, what these stand for. And it shows why these repairs were made. And on, on the back of the Pittsburgh and Lake Erie repair car um, repair cars I have, you'll see that they actually have attenuations for the wheel or axles removed. However, on both of these cards, they were blank. Now, this is the second repair card I have for the Pittsburgh and Lake Erie Railroad. Also, this was done on October 29th, 1912. This was done to car 1097. Again, here it shows the repairs that were made, and I'm not going to even attempt. I believe that might say socket, or no, or basket. The rest, I have no idea what it's saying. And here it says the where the shop was a pair at. That is a J, that is an A, either that's an E or a C, an O, a B or an L, or an R, an L, an A, and it just loses me there. I've tried typing numerous variations of this and to see where it was related to. I can't find any sources. I would say this was also from the McKees Rock Shop since it was done the same date, but that's clearly not McKees Rock. So if you guys might be able to decipher that and tell me where you believe this was actually, this repair was actually done, I would gladly appreciate it. It also goes into detail for the pair. I'm not going to attempt to say that. <laughs> This one though is oddly actually missing the hours for the repairs. And just some more detail. Also you'll notice here it says what time, like, I'm not sure, I'm assuming this is either the kind of repair it's being done or the time, ta, um, the kind of cart, cart, car being repaired. So here it says wood pack or wood rack. And again, the back is empty. And our final building repair card is actually from the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad. Now you might notice for this B&O Railroad Billion Repair Card, it actually is has a larger font for it. And also again, the different repairs made. I believe when I was reading for this, I was trying to decipher some of this very scribbled cursive. It said broke shaft. The bottom one I cannot really identify. Now this repair was done to car 549 on March 25th, 1916. So this is a little little after our two, uh, other two Billion Repair Cards we looked over. Now this one was actually done in the Connorsville Yards. Again, we go back to Connorsville, Pennsylvania. So in fact, at one time you had three major railroads in Connorsville. You had the Pittsburgh and Lake Erie ending in Connorsville, the Western Maryland beginning in Connorsville, 
and you had the B&O going for Connorsville with a major yard in Connorsville. You also had a small railroad, which was the Indian Creek Valley Railroad, that if you guys recall a couple episodes back on Artifact Highlight, I showed some of the spikes from a segment of that line, which was referred to as the Blair Line, and you also had a few other little branch lines in area. Today, CSX primarily um, runs from Connorsville, with also the smaller short line railroad, the Southwest Pennsylvania Railroad. In here you have the inspector and again shown the initial or name and the kind of car they're working on it says I'm assuming this either says son or gone so maybe this is a gondola car they're repairing on unlike the other ones though this one does not have a back however there is a check mark on the back I wonder what that could mean concludes this edition of artifact highlights I'd like to thank everybody for watching I'm going to try to have an Artifact Highlight episode out every other Sunday. I've also been doing DVD updates on my DVD collection. Still want to do some movie reviews, but I have no set time on when those might or might not occur. I also have been making more and more gone traveling videos. Or also I've referred to them as off of traveling. You might have seen the one for the B&O station in Oakland. If you have not seen it already, be pre I'd appreciate it if you check it out. And that brings it into this video. So once again, thanks everybody for watching. Until next time.